2021 Honda Pilot Review. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Blackout packages are common in the auto industry these days, and it's pretty easy to understand why. Consumers think that murdered out badges and dark, glossy mirror caps and wheels look neat. Automakers, meanwhile, can use these low-cost touches to add $500 to $1,000 to each vehicle's transaction price, less money than an owner would spend on such aftermarket modifications. Everyone wins. The 2021 Honda Pilot Black Edition takes that approach but comes in at a slightly different angle. Yes, the wheels are black, as are the grille, mirror caps, and badges. It ticks the usual boxes. But it's also the range-topping version of Honda's three-row CUV. The company's decision to base the Pilot Black Edition on the $48,720 Elite trim only is a peculiar one. Although that business decision doesn't change the fact that this big crossover remains an easy choice for families on the go. If you're blissfully unaware that this is the priciest pilot on the market, the Black Edition touches are fine. But as we know it's the ritziest version, Honda's formulaic approach to tweaking the exterior is disappointing. Everyone is doing blacked-out wheels and chrome-free grills. What about a two-tone design, Honda? What about painting the wheel arches black? Instead of such flair, we get awkward, black edition, badging at both ends of the car and broadly unchanged styling overall. The pilot could desperately use some panache. The exterior, last updated in 2019, is attractive enough, but it's not exactly interesting, clean body lines conspire with a smooth front end and a squared off tail so that the pilot definitely looks like some kind of crossover. But when Hyundai, Kia, and now Nissan are adding Seoul to their three-row flagships, this Honda appears staid and conservative. There may be some good news on the horizon, at least. That's true of the unfussy cabin too. Finished with a reliance on, you guessed it, black materials, this range topping model adds red stitching and piping and flashier seat inserts. Still, the dash is an uninspiring sight if you've spent any time in the newer competition. That said, the interior quality is high overall, giving the pilot a sturdy and refined cabin that owners should appreciate. While folks buy a pilot for the second and third row, it's worth mentioning that the front seats do a fine enough job. They're wide and flat, lacking support for the lower legs especially, although there's enough padding overall that we'd be content on a longer journey. The seating position itself is upright and feels proper for a large crossover, with good sightlines providing a commanding view. The second row, though, is the better place to be, with the Black Edition offering twin captain's chairs as standard. These seats provide better support than the front seats and more space, too. The third row bench is merely okay. Your 6'2 author made it back there with knees planted firmly in the chest. It should go without saying that road tripping in the fetal position is no fun, so reserve the last row for the kiddies. If ultimate space is your priority, the pilot is difficult to recommend, though. Break out the tape measure and you'll find just 38.4 inches of second row legroom, or less than the Ford Explorer, 39.0, Toyota Highlander, 41.0, Kia Telluride, 42.4, and Hyundai Palisade, 
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.